Appalachian State University's Sigma Nu fraternity is hosting their fifth annual High Country to Haiti volleyball tournament. Teams of five or six played volleyball from nine in the morning to three in the afternoon. The tournament took place in the varsity gym at Appalachian State University. We had uh, like three conferences. We had an all-male, an all-female, and then a co-ed bracket that were going on. We did round robins for each of them, and then um, those round robins finished pretty early. We had a lot of guys' teams, so that's why I went a little bit later over here. And then we had the, we just did the all-male championship just now. Well, we played volleyball all day, and my team unfortunately was not the best. Um, we caught zero wins, um, so five L's. But we had fun and raised money for a good cause. Matt's team and the Empire Spikes Back faced off for the championship game. The Empire Spikes Back lost their lead to multiple aces and attack errors, bringing the game to a tie. The team stayed within one point of each other for the remainder of the game, until Matt's team lost due to a block error. Yeah, our team played incredible, a lot of heart, power of the high fives, camaraderie, we came together. Um, had a great time, but took a tough loss in the championship. We'll get them next year. We went undefeated today, so that was a remarkable feat. We definitely figured out how to work with each other throughout the day. We had a permanent setter, which definitely helped us out, especially in the last two games. You know, I think my teammates were really there for me and supporting me. And, you know, my coach was 100% there for me the whole time. But I think we lost a lot of team morale just because days long. St. Patrick's Day, we got places to be, you know. But um, it was a great day, and I'm really proud of my teammates. The Empire Spikes Back won the tournament, beating Matt's team 25-24. to For the Appalachian Spotlight, I'm Annie Acker.